Wow. Freaking welds gave up right here at the inlet side. That explains everything. This thing's so freaking loose. What's up, doggies? So we got Ranger in the house. The Yorkie is Axel. Axel's the yapper. And then the little white dog here. She's my favorite. But don't, don't tell Ranger that. Yeah, this is Lexi. Oh, baby. She's a sweetheart. So anyways, guys, in this video, by the way, welcome back to the channel, Track Call Quest. And uh, this is a video that I'm gonna make because I had a couple things happen on the trip. And one of them was my exhaust muffler finally took a crap in the truck. At least that's what it sounded like when I pulled up to the house. So um, something sounded loose all last year in that muffler, all of 2023. And so I just let it be. And finally, when I got back from Utah, it got really bad. Even in the trip, when I was doing all the trails there at Cruz Moab, you know, it was, it was rattling really, really bad. It was almost, almost embarrassing, right? So, uh, but like I said, once I got to the house, it sounded like something had actually broken loose. So it was definitely blocking flow of exhaust. So I installed this muffler in the truck late 2021 to 2022 as a re direct replacement. So I bought it off of eBay, got a killer deal on it. It's a Chinese knockoff. And the reason I went this route is because they do not uh, manufacture a replacement from Toyota anymore uh, for the 80 series between 93 through 94. Pretty much just split there at the weld. See that? Oh, shit. Uh, the replacement that I bought is for a 90 through 98 80 series Land Cruiser, or I think it's 80 through 105 series. Um, and it's for the 4.2 liter inline six diesel engine. So I figured the dimensions are true, but come to find out the inlet is a little short on the replacement that I just bought. This thing's freaking heavy. Yep. So it's not going to work. Uh, I'm going to have to do some grinding, some cutting to make it work. So it was about $300 with uh with shipping so it wasn't bad and it's oem toyota replacement the build quality is by far much better compared to that chinese knockoff so it's got a real beefy bracket to support the inlet and that's what that replacement is missing so a lot of the stress was on the weld going around attaching the inlet to the sheet metal. Okay, this is the game plan, guys. We're gonna remove this bracket. So we're gonna hack off or just cut right along the welds. There's four welds, remove and just set that aside. We're gonna cut the pipe right here. So we're gonna remove the inlet right here. We're gonna place a, a cut. This flange has to be rotated 90 degrees anyways. Okay, so we're gonna leave that like that. We're gonna come to the back end, we're gonna chop this off so we're going to mark it right about there chop that off we're going to reuse the outlet as our new inlet so like i said we're going to rotate the flange 90 degrees inch and a half
course, I'm going to always mount this. We got our flange on. Looks like I got a notch a little bit off the back here. Yeah, so we're gonna cut this off. We're gonna just notch this off a little bit back here. It should fit. Where it's gonna go.
weld it in place and we're good. Okay guys, so we are pretty much done with the exhaust muffler. We just gotta make sure we have the right gasket. Toyota OEM 93 through 94 Toyota Land Cruiser 80 series with the 4.5 liter inline six Toyota muffler. <laughs> and uh, super stoked because it even says Toyota stamped on the heat shield right there. So yeah, it's uh, we had to modify this just slightly by chopping off the outlet we're using the outlet to pretty much form up our inlet to the correct shape. We got it down pretty good. We also rotated the flange 90 degrees and then reinstalled the reinforcement bracket down here to support the pipe, the inlet pipe. That's very important for these type of mufflers. So now we don't have all the stress on that single weld. We have our new gasket in place. This is pretty much ready to go into the truck. Down here, I just installed a cutoff downpipe. That simple. So it's off the rocks. Don't have to deal with all the, the plumbing as far as having to replumb and all that crap, you know, because I am running a rear auxiliary fuel tank. So this just makes it a lot simpler. So we are. We are ready to go, guys. Let's go ahead and reinstall this. All right. Oh, got this thing going backwards here. So we have our gasket installed. temporarily support so We're going to go ahead and crush that gasket. It's a one time use gasket. All right. Right when I finished the project, it stopped raining. 
But you know what, rain or shine, we're gonna get it done. So yeah, we had to modify that Toyota OEM muffler uh, off a diesel to fit the petrol motor. And uh, you know, just a little elbow grease, a little cutting here and there, welding it all up. It's pretty much factory, you know, and that's what I wanted. Uh, not only that, it didn't break the bank either. So, brand new OEM Toyota muffler under the truck. Feels good. It's actually quieter than before. Um, no leaks. Really stoked. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.